friends. So, bit naughty from me. I'm quite busy this week. I'm not a working girl. Well, I'm not a forced to be a working girl, but I've now got like 17 jobs. I'm away this weekend and I realised that tomorrow's Thursday and today's Wednesday. Obviously, you know how the days of the week work, but I was like, wow, well, I don't have a video. I've not missed a Thursday in so long. And I thought, oh no, need to make a video. So I thought rather than stress myself out, let's just have a little, a little girly catch up. I've got a Starbucks. I've got two drinks. How crazy does this sound? Mango dragon fruit haven't tried it before i've got an oat milk caramel macchiato which is my favorite starbucks drink ever but i don't really like very sweet coffee so i only get half a pump of vanilla rather than like the 17 they put in but it's so delicious if someone could just pour 100 gallons of that stuff all over my body and let me lick it off i'd be happy anyways haven't had my breakfast yet got my overnight oats i was gonna get a sandwich or something from starbucks and be like oh yeah like mukbang vibes but reality how boring is a, is a sandwich for, for a mukbang he wants to sit and watch me eat a sandwich i, I know you don't and i thought oh my god okay i need to spend seven pound on a sandwich from starbucks or eat the overnight oats i've already prepared which is free and i know you don't really care so that's what i'm eating i'm going to the cinema today since i've moved back home there's no cinema in sunland which is so sad because i love the cinema the cinema really makes me i feel like it resets me i love it it's so much fun and there's no cinema in sunderland so i'm having to go through to newcastle to go to the cinema which is so annoying but it's fine i'm gonna go see champions with sunday oh, it's so good i don't know how i do it <laughs> I asked on my Instagram if anyone had any questions, anything they wanted me to talk about. So I'm going to just sit and have a little look through now. I've not actually looked at them yet. Most of the questions is how I'm feeling now that I'm back in Sunderland. For anyone who's new, I lived in Essex for three years at uni. And then I lived in Manchester for two and a half years. And I've just had to move back home to Sunderland with my pair, well, with my mum. Because I just got myself into a really bad financial situation. I mean, I didn't get myself into a bad situation. I've basically always been in a bad financial situation, like, since I was probably about 16. And then, rather than moving back home after uni and saving to pay off my debt, I just moved out because i didn't really want to come back home and continue just living in that debt so so basically i made the executive decision to come back home and get a few extra jobs try and pay off all my debt and start fresh rather than entering even more of my adulthood in a bad financial situation because i'm trying to break bad habits and i want a good future for myself and i feel like i can only do that if i sort out my finances and yeah so that's what i did it was a really hard decision i really didn't want to come back home i was really upset about it for ages um and i even went through the, the thought of should i tell you should i not like is it is it a bit embarrassing having to go back home i thought you know what no it's not i mean it's, i mean is it slightly embarrassing no it's not because it's just real you know what i mean like these things happen life's not just oh <laughs> life's not just this all the time sometimes life is this sometimes life's this sometimes it's this Sometimes it's up for ages and it goes down and it goes up again. Sometimes this is like this and then you go down so that you can go even higher next time. Do you know what I mean? And I was kind of just thinking, you know what, no, I'm going to be completely honest and just, yeah, I've got debt. So does 85% of our parents. I don't know, maybe maybe they don't. I don't know, <laughs> I think it's a don't trust that statistic. I don't think that's right. But I shouldn't feel embarrassed for it. But also, I've realised that I don't want it anymore. And I should be proud of myself rather than embarrassed that I've made the decision to come home and try and sort it to benefit my future and myself. So, yeah. I really didn't want to move back home. I was really sad about it. I've got a lovely relationship with my mum, my dad, my sister. But I just, I hadn't been home for like nearly six years. I hate where I'm from. I've got some of my most favourite friends and people here but a lot of my friends here are also a lot more settled than me so i don't really see my friends a lot here i'm obviously used to have my own space and for anyone who doesn't know as well i don't have a bedroom at home here basically in my house i've got this it's two it's like two kind of three bedrooms so there's my mom's room the other room and then there's a tiny 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 room which used to have mimi's cot in when she was a baby but obviously she's now tall and taller than me <laughs> so when i moved out she was kind of just fitting in there like she was tiny she was still really little so we managed to get like a small small kids bed in there and she used to sleep in there and then obviously as soon as i moved out she moved into my room that room the little baby room got turned into to storage because it is it is literally tiny so she moved into my room so when i moved out for uni i brought everything i know a lot of people who go to uni they still have a lot of their stuff at home i moved out i had nothing at home no clothes nothing everything came with me at uni so mimi took my room 
So all of the cupboards, all of the drawers, everything in there is filled with her stuff. She decorated how she wanted, like it's her room. Um, so when I came back, obviously I needed to stay somewhere. I couldn't fit in that little room and neither can she. So I'm in my sister's room. So it's just not ideal. I do miss my own space. This doesn't sound awful. She's obviously got great interior design, but I miss being in my room or like in the space that I'm decorated i think that sounds mean i'm not trying to be mean i'm sorry if you're watching but i don't know i just i miss my trees in my my bookshelf and my big bean bag like i miss my stuff because obviously there's no storage in my house because obviously i'm in my sister's room i don't really have any of my stuff here my stuff is between four five houses so i'm just kind of living out of like a suitcase and a bag here i just miss my bits and bobs you know what i mean like the like the crap that you've got in your room that you might use like once every few weeks but you, you do use it because it's there because i came home with the thought of saving money and sort of finances i thought if i'm gonna come home i'm gonna come home i'm going to be on my grind get me the extra jobs help me save faster so i got a job as a pilates instructor so i've been doing that like twice a week and then i've been also getting a job as a dance teacher so i do that on the other two days a week and then i can do my social media during the day i've realized that i do really enjoy teaching <laughs> I say I'm good at it. I don't know. Maybe I'm a, I'm a bit awkward to be honest. Like I am a little bit uncomfortable. But I don't know whether they notice whether they think I'm just like quirk, <laughs> quirky. But I don't know whether they just think, oh god, she's a freak. But really, in my head, it's just me being awkward. I don't just don't know whether they notice that. Do you know what I mean? Because they don't know me like you know me. Like obviously you know me really well, so you know that I'm really chatty and you know sometimes I might go off my words and stuff. But sometimes like the kids look at me as if I'm just the biggest freak. <laughs> Oh my god, I said to the six-year-old, I was like, are you ready to dance? <laughs> are you ready to dance? And she literally looked at me and went, why are you talking in that accent? <laughs> oh god. Absolutely humbled. I was like, sorry, you thought it was be funny. <laughs> Horrendous. Anyways, I can't even remember what I'm talking about. And, oh yeah, just life. So that's been really helping me save money. And it, it makes me feel like I've got some kind of purpose. I feel like I've spent the last... I've had a really crap year, really. Like the last year or two. Didn't really feel like I had much purpose. <laughs> Sorry, got the violin out. But I just didn't feel very good. And now that I've got a lot of things to do and I've got a purpose, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to pay off my debt. I know what time I've got these shifts. The thing with YouTube is that it's obviously... I've, I can make my own hours. But the fact that I've got four days a week, which I know I have to be at work, it means that during the day I get my work done. I'm doing my YouTube. I'm doing my editing. I'm going to work on a night. I'm coming home. I'm getting in the shower. And then I go to sleep and it's fine. And it doesn't matter that I'm not seeing my friends all the time. I think in Manchester, I, get, I used to get a little bit upset because i used to literally sit in my house all day and film and then sit in the house all day and then edit and then sit in the house all day in the same place that i just filmed and edited doing my work i would then sit in the same place and then watch tv to be finished work i spent my full monday to sunday in my living room and it used to drive me insane and if my housemate wasn't there some weeks i'd go days without speaking to anyone else and i used to get a little bit upset if i didn't see my friends and stuff like a lot Whereas here, I don't feel like there's that much of a, not necessity to, but I don't feel like I have to see anyone every single week because I'm getting that communication when I go to work. If I don't see my friends, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to speak to someone all week because I've got work and I get to speak to people. And obviously I've got my mum here, which is really nice, and my little sister, so like we always chat. And even if I don't see my friends, I've got, like me and my mum are going to go shopping tomorrow and that's me seeing like my friend, I know it's not my mum, but still. I'm not saying that I want to stay here, I don't. I am still going to try and save and move out when I can. But when I first moved, I was really upset every day. I didn't have any other two jobs. I was just sat in the house all day, every day. And it was killing us. And me, my mum and my sister were arguing because we were just on top of each other all the time. But now that I'm not, I find it a lot better. My gym is literally over the road. It takes me about a minute 30 to get there, which is great. So I've been getting a really good routine with that. I've found a really good walking route. So I've been walking every day just to get out a bit. I feel good. I think more because I now know that I have a purpose and there's things that I want to achieve. I've got a plan. I've got a goal with this. I've got a goal with my Pilates. I've got a goal with saving. So it feels like I'm working towards something. I think for the last year and a half, I've just been kind of existing, just getting by. And I don't like that feeling. I think I think humans need a... You know what I mean? And I've never ha I haven't had one for a while. Everyone's been so lovely. I've been getting loads of messages where people have been like, you've got all at the moment. I'm like, oh, don't cause I'll cry. Because I think it's more because I'm not panicking anymore. I can't explain how much my money troubles has consumed me over the years. And I was definitely like one of those, what's that? Like a, is it a peacock? Is it a peacock? What's the animal that puts the head in the sand? I was that. I was just, let's pretend I don't have it. Money? Money? What? I'm not in debt. I was. I was. Oh, I haven't even told you this. I've paid off my debt. Woo! 
I know. So I've paid off my debt. Um, sorry, I should have probably started with that. I've paid off my debt. So after being home for like two months, working my little ass off, working my two jobs and my YouTube and trying really hard with this and TikTok and everything. I've also been doing dance workshops as well. I've managed to finally pay off my debt. And I think you can tell. I just feel like the biggest weight is being lifted off my shoulders ever. For the first few weeks, when I was at home with no other jobs and I didn't get any work through from YouTube and stuff, I felt this doom. I felt so much dread. Quite overwhelmed because I thought, I'm not going to be able to move out here for a long time. I was thinking, oh, my mum was like, even if you're here for a year or two years, and I was like, oh, what? Like, no. But now that I've paid off all my debt, I feel excited. It doesn't feel unrealistic. I can start saving, go find a new apartment somewhere, hopefully move down south and start fresh. And it's really exciting knowing that that's now a possibility whereas it didn't feel like it when I first moved home so that's probably why I look like I'm happier because I, I kind of am okay I've blurbled on about that for so long <laughs> that's like 20 minutes of me talking about my home life sorry guys I really rambled there it's getting increasingly hotter in this car so I think it's might be time oh oh no I think I should try the mango dragon fruit you know what I'm putting your opinion when I went to Thailand and I tried dragon fruit I didn't love it Oh, I've put the bloody thing on the wrong way around. Oh, well. I thought it was all right, but I just felt like I didn't really have much taste. But I love mango, and it looks like such a cute colour. It is refreshing. It is refreshing, but it's really subtle. I do prefer the strawberry one with the, with the bits in. But that's... I would get it again. It's like weak dilute -y. future plans swiftly following on from that. Saving up. Hopefully moving down south. I am moving down south. Stop saying hope. I am. I will. I will. I need to pass my Matt Pilates course. I then want to start maybe doing Pilates events. Maybe like some in Manchester, some in different places. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I thought it'd be really fun. Could get like smoothies and do Pilates together and that could be fun. Trying really hard with my YouTube, my Instagram and TikTok and stuff. I think there has been a bit of a lull with YouTube. We all know it. You can see it. You can look at my views. You can tell us a lull. Is it upsetting? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really itchy. But also, I started YouTube because I loved it. And regardless whether it's doing as well, I still love it. So I'm always going to post and hopefully just build up my Pilates brand. Something fun might be coming. Don't want to say soon. It's definitely not soon. But something fun could happen at some point. <laughs> I've had a lot of messages about Pilates and who I did my course with. I did my course with HFE. I'm not sure if they're the best one to go through. I don't know. I don't, obviously I've only done my course so I can only talk about myself. The only reason I did that course is because my favourite Pilates teacher, who I used to go to in Manchester, that's the course she did. So I just really liked her. So I was like, What's, what course did you do? Did you like it? And she's like, yeah. And she told me. And then, I, and then I signed on. It is quite expensive. About £700, £800, I think, for the course. But if you do both together, your mat and your reformer, you get, like, a discount. And I did like it. I loved my reformer course. It was so much fun. You did four full-day course days. So you were in 12 till 8. Two of those was theory and, obviously, physical, like, practical. So you would go in, you'd go through all of the moves, all of the safety, everything like that for the first two days. And then the last two days on the other weekend was your assessment. You've also got a lot of online work to complete. So there's, like, exams and written work but I loved it I found it so fun I thought the teachers were great you've got an online tutor so whenever you need them you can phone them well you can book in a phone call and you can ask them which is nice because sometimes I'm quite bad at retaining information <laughs> I'd go to one of my weekend days and I'd come away and think what did she just say for those eight hours <laughs> which is really bad to admit but I just get really distracted really easily and sometimes a teacher will be talking and I'll be thinking about something completely different in my brain or I'll get distracted by, I don't know, an ant on the wall and then it'll get halfway through a sentence and I'll be like, oh my god, what did she just say? And then I don't want to say it, well, will you just say that again? Because then she'll know I wasn't listening. But I wasn't purposely not listening. I just, my brain goes in different places. It's really frustrating. So then I would phone the woman afterwards, my tutor, and I'd be like, can you just let me know what this is? And she'd be like, you did learn this on your weekend. And I was like, I know, but I can't remember. And then she would tell me and then it was fine. However, my mat course you can do your mat course in person or online in hindsight now i should have just done it in person the reason i did it online is because the online course dates were sooner than the in-person course dates so in my head i was going to be passed faster because i'd go to the course dates earlier but then life happened and then i ended up doing my reform the week after because you've got a year to complete it but the reformer obviously it's in person so you do it there and then i prioritized my reformer and kind of put my mat on the back burner 
and because I'm in Sunderland now, I'd have to travel to Manchester for each of the course dates. It just felt like the cheapest and best option. The mat is actually harder because it's classed as a diploma rather than just a certificate. So there's a lot more to do. You've got a case study. You've got a lot of online exams which are in test conditions. So you have to be on camera for it. There's a lot of written work, a lot of sheets you have to fill out. And then rather than doing my mat lesson in person, I have to get four people who I know and film a full hour class then send over the the hour class to them it's gonna be so awkward <laughs> whereas if i went in person on the day everyone's doing it and i've still not done that and i've got a few more exams to do you get like five huge massive thick booklets it's like the anatomy of the body and all of the science behind it and it's a lot of revising and that's why i'm kind of putting it off because it does feel quite overwhelming when i've now got so much on every week but i need to get it done so if i was you i would definitely recommend hfe if you're interested in doing pilates course i would just not do one online i don't know but i'm aiming to have it done by by summer oh my god my outfits came oh my god yes oh my god so i am going away this weekend well away i'm going to chesterfield with all of the my mum your dad lot. oh my god as well by the way it's been a year yesterday that we went into the my mum your dad house how crazy don't know anyone watched that but anyone was in that era of tlz but did a show with itv called my mum your dad but all the kids and a few of the parents are going to one of the girl who did it jess's birthday party this weekend in chesterfield so i'm gone i'm really excited i can't wait i'm so excited to see everyone we've not seen each other since christmas time i mean i see zach and Maisie, my like two people who did the show i see them all the time but the other kids i've not seen in ages but basically someone made a joke i won't name names someone made a joke saying that all i ever wear is black and then I kind of looked at my track record of whenever I go out. And I do always wear I do always wear black. So I'm purposely trying not to wear black this weekend. Like more out of a statement to be like, I don't always wear black. So I've got a cream dress and a red dress. Cream dress is so nice. I love it. Basically, I originally wanted this, but it was sold out on Mars Label. So I got the cream dress of it. But then after I'd bought the cream one online, I saw the red two-piece that I originally wanted on Vinted in my size. Brand new, still with tags for like a third of the price. So I thought, I'm just going to get it. And then if it doesn't look nice, I can wear it on holiday. But it's this cute little skirt and then a little top so that's the top how gorgeous is that i've had a few people asking for a rakuten update so i'll be on rakuten now for about five and a bit weeks today's probably been the worst it's been in for my side effects they've updated 50 milligrams which is actually really high <laughs> i don't know whether i'm really high or they're really low but everyone i know who's a girl started on 20 milligrams and then went up to max 40 but a lot of the girls i know stayed on 20 the whole time I'm on 50. 50? And I started on 40. Like, I'm I'm really high. I mean, I'm really grateful because I've not had bad side effects at all. My mood is fine. I know people, a lot of people suffer with, like, their mental health and stuff. I've been fine. Touch wood. My scalp's been quite dry. You know, I love the dandruff vibes, but it's, it's what it is. My skin's been really dry. Today's actually the first day I woke up and I've got cracking all around my nose and it is really sore. But also, I did think it was going to be worse, so I'm not going to complain. My lips... Do feel like they're gonna fall off i feel like they look like bum holes like <laughs> when i wake up in the morning i feel like that you know the episode of spongebob when he goes out of the sea when he goes on sandy's little ball and he's literally like oh, that is me but all in all i think i've been fine i know i'm only five weeks in apparently things start to get crazy on like the two month mark so i will keep you updated even now as i'm talking my lips feel like so dry <laughs> so far so good my skin is i mean looking way better Obviously, I've got makeup on. I've still got quite a lot under the skin spots. No regrets. Positive experience so far. Someone asked if I've got any holidays booked. I do. I've got one booked. But I'm a bit nervous because you're not really supposed to be in the sun on Rakuten. <sighs> like, I've gone on it at the worst time possible. I've been put on it just before summer. I'm going to be on it all during summer. And I'm going to come off when it comes to winter. I've been gagging to book loads of holidays this summer and i do this every year and i don't know why i do it because every year it gets to about october and i instantly regret that i spent all my money on my holidays during summer but in reality summer in england is quite nice it is warm got some gorgeous parks like i actually do enjoy summer in england so then why do i run away from it when i could go on holiday in october half term or when it starts getting cold in england and then it means i've got heat all year round so i was thinking about booking a little city break but i'm not going to do it i'm going to save my money and then hopefully maybe i can go away for a few days for my birthday in october i've always always wanted to do that i've always wanted to be away on my birthday but i've just never really been able to do it for like financial reasons and also just no one really would come <laughs> 
but this year maybe i'll be able to so even if it's just for two or three days i'd love to do that but i do have one holiday booked this summer which i probably shouldn't really be going on because of my skin but i'm just going to be really careful i'm going to cover myself head to door in sun cream every day we're in a villa i can sit in the shade it won't be too bad i'm going to wear lots of hats and i'm going back to mykonos with byron anastasia freya has all of them we're all gone and i'm so excited i can't wait i've never ever been to a villa before and i've never really gone on a huge group holiday so i'm going to mykonos in august so i've still got a while but yeah can't wait really excited i love mykonos and i'm really excited i'll vlog it all i want to try and get like pilates videos on the beach and stuff i don't know whether that's gonna be a bit a bit embarrassing my social anxiety probably will not let me do that but i'm gonna try like, can i bring my pilates mat to mykonos because I'll be, I'll be qualified by then in mat and it would be good if every morning I could just go and, and do that. And I could try and get everyone to do it with me. Like, I could teach morning Pilates. Don't know whether that's a vibe of the group, whether everyone would want that. But I think that would be really fun. Oh, I've changed my mind. This is actually so delicious. I didn't realise, but it's got the dragon fruit pieces. And I love, I love like, things with bits in. Mmm. Last question. Someone said, any tips for someone who's in their 20s? Okay, well, I'm also in my 20s. So, let's have some tips. Tips and tricks, eh? Embrace the youth. <laughs> I don't know whether I just say this because I am also in refusal of growing up and don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I'm kind of in a bit of a weird situation. I think a lot of people probably thought by the time they were in the mid-20s they'd have all this stuff sorted, but I really don't. But as I get older, I just do feel like I've got my whole life to figure stuff out. There is such a small percentage of our life which is dedicated to ourselves. As soon as I have kids and I settle down with someone, my life is now for them. I want to make a really good life for my kids, myself, my husband, whatever. You don't have the freedom of just doing whatever you want anymore. You don't have the freedom to just jet off and go travelling or of being able to try a hundred different careers because obviously you need to have something that's reliable so that you can keep the house over your heads and give them a good life and you can't really just mess around and try loads of different things. So if that's going to be my reality for 70% of my life, why not for the other 30% enjoy the process of that? Does that make sense? enjoy trying different things enjoy trying different hobbies enjoy trying different careers i've just randomly decided to do pilates course and i've changed my full course of my life i don't think i ever want to do pilates but here i am try different businesses it doesn't work so what because no one's counting on you other than yourself i just think have fun with figuring stuff out i'm just figuring things out and if it works and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't and if it doesn't i'd rather know that now than when i'm 45 with 17 children and i've lost all of our money because i've invested it in a stupid business that doesn't work whereas now if i make my own business and it sucks then boo tia but no one else is booing me it's just myself do you know what i mean i just think have fun figure things out figure what you like you've got your whole life to be serious and do the thing that you think you're gonna do forever so while you're still youngish and you've got the time and freedom try things try it make friends go out I mean, I don't really go out, but I should probably go out more because I feel like I'm going to get to about 15 and think, God, why didn't I go out in my 20s? Don't do drugs. Get sexual tests. Check your boobies. Eat your five a day. And then that's a good 20s life for me is what I think anyways. God, those bits are gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks for chatting. Really appreciate you being here and hearing me rant and talk and chat about things. Love you all. See you next Thursday. And I hope everyone has a gorgeous day. Goodbye.